So this is called the uh, Grenz Café Kuhlmühle, Kuhlmühle, sorry, um, and uh, with very good reason because uh, we have here the former border between West and East Germany. Um, start off with something here. Look at that. There's a uh, a sign, a historical sign for 600 years. There was a, a mill on this site, and. Um, that's where the, the, the uh, bread came from. Um, and we have this other extremely valid historical site, which is the Zala River and the, uh, the border here, um, which I wonder, it, um, well, the mill would have been here, the mill would have been in the west, so it wouldn't have made any difference to them to the mill but this is it this is the this is the border I'm walking over now um, if I remember rightly uh, on the Zala here it was is the taken as being somewhere down the middle so uh, here I'm still in West Germany but we'd have had here oh we've got oh we've got some photographs here we'll have a look at them later oh we've got plenty of photographs here let's have a oh hey, there's plenty of Plenty of stuff to get bored with here, anyway. So this this is roughly where the border was, uh, in 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 this uh, in the place I'm in now. Now uh, you can see some of the other stuff that I filmed on the Zala River, which I did in uh, in uh, November 2008, and now it's East. This was East Germany here. Now how come these houses are so close to the border? I met a gentleman in a place not so far from here, just up the river, just upstream, um, who um, he lived in a house that looked directly over the wall. In fact, he was born in 1912, I think it was. No, maybe it was 1919. I can't really quite recall. He's actually he's slightly in one of the films, but he went through the entire thing. He came when he came back from the Soviet Union, having been held as a prisoner of war. Um, he lived in the house, he saw the whole thing, he went from East Germany, he was, he believed in uh, East Germany. Uh, very close to here, I won't identify him though. <laughs> but though he is in one of my films, so that should rather identify him. But he wasn't sad when the wall came down. This is Hirschberg, I must say that this looks really, it looks very, very attractive here. Yeah. And um, there's the bridge. Of course, is brand new. Now what, the bridge at um, what's the name of the place? Blankenstein, no, Blankenstein. Maybe I can't remember. Um, there it was extremely curious because it, it didn't look particularly new. There's a museum, so I'll, I might just have a pop. I might just pop in there. And now today it's the uh, 2nd of October 2010, there's a bit of rain out and um, oh, there's the, the, the bridge, 1920-1945, so I presume that was knocked down during the war, 1997 replaced, so there you have it. Uh, so East and West was united for seven to eight years before this was rebuilt. They are the name of the person. Uh, so this Heinrich Noch, who was the founder of the leather factory in Hirschberg, and he had uh, social back social causes, and uh, a what's it called citizen of the town of Hirschberg. Castle there looks really quite impressive. Uh, got to say that that's something. There we are. Okay. <laughs> remember, remember it's these family, this family together. Family knock in Hirschberg. Oh, and there's the old mill. Oh, these, these, 
these things look somewhat national socialist in origin. Don't know what it's meant to represent now. This, this geezer's got in his hand. It's like some weird Masonic symbol. And uh, here's the mill. I'm very impressed by this Hirschberg place, yeah. Let's have a look at the mill. Oh. Okay, well, it's, pic it's now the focus picture. It's a bit like my uh, photography, and there's, I presume, that, that used to stand in the river behind me. Pretty impressive, this, though, isn't it? I think. Oh, and here we have something else. Ba, 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 ba. Gerb Gruber. Right, let's go and have a look at the pictures now. I'll put that on a separate film.